consider it felicitous for Rivers to take the ball. It was a pop fly in the right center of the championship series, and Mickey came over and called Reggie off, and Reggie backed right off. Reggie knows that, um, that Mickey is the right, field hit. general in center field, and he does corral the outfielder. He is in charge out there. Glenn Burke now up with two out and Steve Garvey at first base, having bunted his way aboard for the third hit of the night for the Dodgers. Dodgers have three, the Yankees have four hits. Dodgers have two runs, the Yankees have one. Burke swings and misses. Glenn has struck out swinging and hit a fly ball to center. Now, Tommy, we had a long talk with Don Sutton yesterday about scouting reports. What were your ex uh, respective opinions? Well, every club's going to get a scouting report on teams in the other league, even teams in your own league. And I think for a professional of Sutton's stature, you're not going to change your game plan as a, as a pitcher going to the mound. You want to know... You want to know what a hitter's strength is. Where, where is his strong point? Where does he like the ball? And where is his most vulnerable point? Those are really the only two things that a pitcher can use when he does uh, go to the mound. Another thing that, that the scouting reports do really is defensive alignment. That's probably the most important thing that you can get from a scouting report. Very good. Thank you. Two strike count now on Glenn Burke. And that one's outside. If you have... If you have any other questions that you don't know anything about, uh, you just feel free oh to God. ask me. <laughs> what I got a kick out of was Sutton saying to us, the Don report says he can't hit a hard inside knee-high pitch. He said, how did I know whether or not I can throw it? <laughs> Who can do it? <laughs> That's right. Burke hits a foul out of play. Sutton's comments was a good hard fastball inside, followed up with a curve just off the plate, down and away at the knees. <laughs> they haven't invented anybody hits those pitches yet. Burke the batter, two out, Garvey at first base, Dodgers leading two to one, Steve Yeager on deck. There's the base runner, Steve Garvey. Perfect month to get aboard. Don Sutton resting as quietly as possible, visiting with somebody in the Dodger dugout. These two pitchers really took this ball game with the throat after that first inning. Not much has happened. Garvey goes, and the ball is punched to the right side, and it goes into right field for a base hit. And Garvey goes on around second and goes into third. He's coming to the plate. Here's the throw. It is. Out of Close play. And that'll get some conversation out of the Dodgers dugout. I'll guarantee you. Good aggressive play there, Keith. The umpire was out of position in my estimation. He was up the line instead of waiting at home plate. Now you watch as, he, as Garvey comes in, he gets the, the goal from Preston Gomez. Going in, you'll see the umpire getting back to home plate yet still trying to make the call. Look at the umpire. He's up the line. What's he doing up there? Here he comes. He's not even in the picture. Where is he? That's telling it like it is. So it is still two to one. Still 2-1. Here we go now to the bottom of the sixth inning. Willie Randolph, Thurman Munson, and Reggie Jackson. We're going to show you that play again at home plate. One more look at it now as the, play, the throw comes in from Mickey Rivers. And from that angle, it looks like Garvey was on the plate. It sure did. That pitch is just low, and it's 1-1. One and, one. and one more look at it. And Jeff is going to be talking about it tomorrow. This is the third angle of it. Can't see home plate there, though. Two balls and no strikes. And Randolph swings and misses. It's two and one. And that play at home plate got the crowd buzzing. Garvey's not a guy to argue, either. He, he argues when he thinks he's right. Yeah, but the point you made about position is everything. Position is everything for an official. In 1955, when Jackie Robinson stole home, let's watch this pitch. Two and one. Two and two. When Jackie stole home on Yogi Berra in the fifth game of the series, Berra's whole claim was that the umpire was out of position. Umpire and never moved. Didn't see him make the tag. 